students from across Asia and the Middle East have competed for the best mileage from car engines they modified in Royal Dutch Shell's Eco Marathon, which promotes fuel efficiency. The real purpose of today is, and the next couple of days, is to give an opportunity to students around the world to, to come and test each other, bring their ideas, their innovation. So there are some of maybe people who really will create the future in our own industry. More than 100 teams took part in the event where the challenge was to drive 10 laps around a track with a total distance of 12 kilometers using as little fuel as possible. Vehicles came in a myriad of shapes and forms from handmade cardboard boxes to more sophisticated polycarbonate designs fitted with lightweight materials. Racers can choose from seven sources of energy to power their vehicles, like a gasoline, diesel, or renewable types, like electric and solar. The Eco event features two categories, one based on real cars and the other on prototypes. Students like Chitan Singh of Chitkara Institute of Engineering and Technology rose to the challenge of remodeling engines, frames, and dimensions without sacrificing minimum durability set by the organizers. Firstly, thinking about a new technology that can um, surpass the previous ones, it's the biggest challenge to uh, get hold of uh, an idea and uh, think it through to uh, making it. So that is a, a big uh, problem, and, uh, but at the same time it's a big challenge as well. You need to overcome it, you need to think about things uh, that you can do and uh, you know, achieve that mileage and uh, thought that you have uh, come with. A study conducted by Shell revealed that countries such as Thailand, Philippines and India have said they are greatly concerned about future energy needs amid population growth and limited resources, while scientists from the United Nations have named greenhouse gases as one of the main contributors to climate change. Events like this one may help uncover ways for companies to reduce costs while also reducing their environmental footprints.